Now, you're going to love the next item. Gary Wilmot's a 28-year-old half-Jamaican comedian who's been working in the clubs for about nine years. The show we caught was at the British Airport's Authority Club at Heathrow Airport. Mind you, we're still not sure if it was him or that other chap, Norman Wisdom. I went in to pay my rent the other day. <laughs> and there was this woman... Sitting in the corner, she's got three pounds stuck in one ear <laughs> and three pounds stuck in another ear. <laughs> I said to the bloke behind the counter, ear. <laughs> I used to always constantly do impressions of teachers. That's what it started. Very regional then, you know, uh, teachers and friends and friends' mothers. Um, I remember we had a rugby teacher. I used to play rugby at school, and uh, his name was uh, uh, Mr. Bond, uh, and he was fanatical. He was a Welshman, and ever you, if ever you did a good move in rugby, his response was. Bloody tremendous. And that's what he was, that's, that's what we spent our time saying. <laughs> that was his reaction, yeah. But I would always I would always find myself copying other teachers, you know. And, and occasionally I'd get caught as well. I'm a gunslinger. I guess y'all heard of Butch Cassidy? Well, I'm a suntan kid. <laughs> and I'm gonna sing for you tonight. <laughs> Beautiful Spanish song. And I'm gonna dedicate it this evening to all you beautiful ladies in here tonight. Each and every one of you. Beautiful Spanish song, it's called El Mucho Estado, El Mucho Estado. El Mucho Estado, in the window. <laughs> you folks remember Annie Oakley? I'm gonna tell you folks something about Annie Oakley now. Do you know she had 14 notches on her guns? Fourteen notches, yes, sir. She's got two extra notches when she killed a couple of Mexicans. I suppose you could say they were bonus notches. Oh, you don't speak French, huh? Uh, Mr. John Williams, cafeteria. Thank you. One of you's out there, lads. I don't know.
is free women. Free of them. He said, I recognised them off the telly, didn't I? Olivia, Newton, and John. And they come running towards me, singing, let's get Pisicle, Pisicle, right? <laughs> the first one, the first one, she got hold of the sheets and she ripped the sheets off the bed. And the second one, she got hold of me pyjamas, new ones and all. And she ripped them off me bed. And the third one, she tried to make mad, passionate love to me. Yeah. <laughs> said, yeah. He said, well, go on then. He said, go on what? Did you tell us what happened? He said, nothing happened. No. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> he said, you should have come round for me. That's what you should have done. He said, I did, but your mum said you'd gone to the zoo. 